Welcome back everyone else to the <laughs> one. They're gonna be like, what? Why everybody else? <laughs> Welcome back everyone to the second half of the show. Meerkat has once again left us, so Bye, Meerkat. I don't know what's going on there. Periscope is still here, so hi Periscope. Thank you for watching all nobody, probably. All I honestly see is just this Meerkat like popping out. I'm like, oh never mind, we're right? it's <laughs> I don't I don't know. It's crazy. You know what else is crazy, Chris? What's the it? amount of amiibo I have in this room. Yeah. Um I found two more. What do we got here? We got Zero Suit Samus and Captain Olmore. So Olmore is like in double plastic here because his head is in a helmet. But yeah, so we found these at Walmart on, I don't remember what night it was. We went to Walmart one night last week. So mm -hmm. it was a weekend. No, it wasn't Sunday. Well, maybe it was Sunday. I don't remember. Anyways, that's great radio right there. But we found them, and so I bought two more Amiibo, so I'm very close now to finishing the set of what's out right now. So that's exciting. Um, you know what else is exciting, Chris? What's that? Smartwatches. Yes. I really, really like smartwatches, and I really, really, really like the Pebble smartwatch specifically. Not just because I have one. Um, I just like their take on it. Um, they don't look the best, but that's all changing because they've announced a new smartwatch, everyone was like, how are they going to compete now that Apple has a watch and the Samsung watch, the next Samsung watch, watch looks pretty well and Motorola's watch is round and looks good but isn't the most useful because of the way they have the screen set up apparently. Um, Pebble said, okay, we're going to take the Pebble Time and we're going to make it round. So it's called Pebble Time, Pebble Time Round or Pebble Round Time or something like that. It looks really sweet. You looked at it before the show. What do mm -hmm. you think? I actually like it a lot. Um, it looks um, the most like an actual watch. Yes. There's a black one with a black band, and the watch face looks like an analog, like sport watch. Uh, it's it looks really sweet. I really like it. Um, I'm glad that I held off on buying a Pebble Time because now I think I want that one. But I'm gonna wait till they release the steel bands. I think because I like this plastic band, but I think I want to get one with a steel band because I can just take this band off and put it on the new one. Are you considering on selling that? I don't know, I might. It works pretty well. One of the buttons is a little mushy, but if you were interested, I'd probably do that for you. Cool. But uh, yeah, so the Pebble Time Round, it looks really sweet. It looks, I mean, super small. They have two different bandwidths, so if you like smaller bands, you can get a small one. If you like thicker ones, you can get a thicker one. Um, I imagine that has a lot to do with people with small wrists, where like, I don't want this giant band. Mm -hmm. Um, so you can get a small one now, so that's sweet. Um, for me, I'm like, eh, I want a bigger one anyways, so whatever. But yeah, so that's awesome that they did that. Um, it's a color e-ink screen, but because of the size, it's a lot thinner and a lot smaller. It only has a two-day battery life instead of the 10, like mm -hmm. the Pebble Time does. <clears throat> but it only takes 15 minutes to get a full charge. That's not bad, though. At least that's what they're claiming. So my guess is you'll only realistically see like a day and a half battery and probably like close to a 30 minute charge because that's typically what happens things like aren't exactly what they say that's like the optimal like at the peak performance of the battery everyone does that so it's not like you can shake your finger at anyone for doing it they all do it they that's just the way batteries are rated how much you say the battery life was these ones were rated for a week okay the new Pe the pebble time is rated for like 10 days Okay. And the time round is ready for like two days, which is still, I mean, let's be honest, most people take their watch off at night. Oh, yeah. Or like sometime during the day, you can plug it in for 15 minutes and charge it. Like while you're in the shower, getting ready in the morning, sometime you'll find 15 minutes you can charge your watch. Like that's no big deal. When we all charge our phones at night, although I think I'm going to stop charging my phone at night and charge it before I go to bed and then unplug it and then just plug it back in when I'm getting ready in the morning so it's not sitting on the charger all night. I want to try that and see if my maybe my battery okay. performs differently. So I'll let you know once I get my phone yeah. situation all sorted out how that experiment goes. But um, speaking of experiments, Chris, scientists like to look at the moon. Yes, they. Oh man, it's for, for they like centuries. the they like the moon. They like stars. They like seeing what's out there. And every now and then, we get something really special that the normal people can see. Now I don't mean the normal people with telescopes. Because then you can see a lot of things. I mean, the normal people with no telescopes. Like us. Like us. I actually have a telescope. It's a, not a great telescope, but I do have one. I was really into space at one point in my life. And so I had a telescope and would go out and like, look at stars and stuff. It was really cool. But you don't need a telescope to see this. This Sunday, 
there is a total lunar eclipse and I think they call it a super moon, but you probably know it as a blood moon. Yeah. Yeah. The moon will be red. And there's going to be a total lunar eclipse. Now, these two events haven't happened in like 33 years at the same time. And they won't happen again for at the same time for like 18, 18 years. Yeah. Now, the next total lunar eclipse is in like two years or something like that, three years. Those happen pretty regularly. But, um, yeah, this hasn't happened on the same date for 33 years. And it's only happened like five times since they started re recording it in 1900. So this doesn't happen often where you get a total lunar eclipse and the blood moon. And everyone in the world basically will observe it either the whole time or at some point. What time? So it starts Sunday at just after 11 Eastern Standard Time. Eastern Daylight Time. Because we're in Daylight Saving. So it's Eastern Daylight Time. People are really funny about that. Apparently you say EST instead of EDT. Although the whole East Coast observes Daylight Savings. Yeah. But not in America. If you go out of America, they don't actually observe Daylight Savings times in like parts of South America, I guess, they're in the same time zone. So, um, e, yeah, that's 11 EDT, Eastern Daylight Saving Time. So, that's ridiculous safe to clarify that. But it makes sense. Because, yeah. like, especially in the, like on the West Coast, there are actually states that don't even observe Daylight Savings. Arizona. So it really messes up with those people. I think Arizona and Indiana are the only ones that do not observe daylight savings. Time. In the U.S. In the U.S. Yeah, yeah. Um, yes, Indiana, because I think we were there during daylight savings mm -hmm. time one year, and it was really weird because the time changed, and that makes sense. My, it was funny because sometimes when we call my brother, he's two hours, and then the next is... He's is he in hours. Arizona? Yeah, he's in Arizona. Yeah. So it was just like... We went to uh, Columbia, South America, and... Uh, that was really weird because they don't have daylight savings time. So like we went back. It, 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 I remember how it worked out. It was really weird. But um, crazy stuff. Yeah. Anyways, lunar eclipse. So everyone, seriously, um, it starts at 11 Eastern Daylight Time. It goes like for a while. Pretty much everyone in the world can see it. It was funny. The article I read said North and South America, Africa, Asia, Europe. I was like, why don't you just say everyone? everyone. Like, is there, like, some, like, random spot, like, in Iceland or something, like, that they can't see? I don't know. Like, n like Australia maybe can't see it, because, like, they're kind of down. But yeah, I, down under. I don't know. It was funny, because, like, if you look at the map, it's, like, the whole map. It's, like, the eastern United States and, like, most of, like, e uh, western Europe will be able to see, like, the whole thing. And then, like, the further away from that you get, we'll be able to see either during sun, moonrise or moonset depending on what side of the world you are. But yeah, it's Sunday at 11 Eastern Daylight Time. I'm gonna go check it out. Usually there's some random times like, oh, it's gonna be at like 3. Now that's like the, the peak of it, I guess. Yeah. Like, I don't, I'm, uh, I'm think you can, like, the, that's when they're like, the, the eclipse is gonna happen. So the blood moon, I think, is like an all night kind of thing, because it's like the sun and the earth and the moon are all in a line, so the only light getting to the moon is what, like, hits the atmosphere and then like curves around, mm -hmm. which is why it's red. Did you know that? I, I, you know more about science. You than know that about. now. It's yes, because it of the sun peeking around the earth mm -hmm. and the atmosphere. That's what makes the moon red. It's not really bloody. Oh, and the moon is closer. It's like 14% closer or 18% closer. Right. Is, now. That what, that, is that the super moon meaning? It's closer? Yeah, 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 yeah. So it, it's going to be a lot of crazy stuff going on at the same time Sunday night. So you don't want to miss it. Like I said, you won't be able to see all these events at the same time again for like another 18 years. So you, And it's, it's not at a bad time either. No, I mean, no. Like I said, there, there, sometimes... I mean, if you're on the West Coast, that's 7 p.m. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's a really... That's, that's good. That's really good. Usually, you know, like I said... Now, if you're in a big city, you probably won't be able to see it yeah. right at 7 because it'll be too light out still. But you'll eventually go to see it. Good you just go down the street. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just go right down the street. Um, But seriously, it's, it's going to be pretty cool. I'm going to go check it out. Probably take some pictures. Yeah. Because, you know, I don't take pictures of anything except for every now and then. Instagram. We got to update the Instagram. That's right. We got to update the... Man, I haven't Instagrammed in a while. When was the last Instagram post I put I on there? Probably a month. I don't know. It's been a long time. Once I get the last of my Amiibo, that'll definitely go up. I haven't been Instagramming the update of the regular Amiibo. I need to get back on that. I've yeah. purchased quite a few since the last picture. I need to update it so everyone knows we're still in the game and we're real close to finishing. Yeah. And then they'll just keep releasing more. So it's not like you're ever going to be really finished. But 
I'm close to finishing this Smash Brothers set. And that's what's really important. It's true. Well, Chris, let's have one more story we, real quick. We went from technology to science to technology. Yes, we did. Um, we're going to go back to technology. Chris, have you ever been driving down the road and seen a cup with a radar gun? Yeah, um, yeah. remember middle of Yeah, but you didn't see that radar. No, I didn't see that radar. Okay, have you ever been at a baseball game and be like, how do they get the speed of a baseball? Oh, yeah. Well, guess what? The technology can do to do that, you can now go to Kickstarter and buy it for your cell phone. You can kickstart it to it's now it's marketed for baseball. Yes. So like it has like all sorts of baseball graphs and stuff for like how the pitch was thrown. And it looks like it, if you're into baseball or if your kid plays baseball or like you have seats like always behind like home plate when you go to baseball games, this is really cool. It is. You can like see how fast the pitch was and it has some stats about like how centered it was and stuff like that. It looks like or like if it curved during its flight. Um I don't really I, I like watching baseball games if I'm there. Yeah, I can. Otherwise, I don't really know much about baseball. I mean, other than like, I mean, I know about baseball. I play softball every year, but I don't get all the tracking of like the pitches and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I don't really get everything this app can do. But the article I read when I found this Kickstarter is apparently it's very similar to the technology that the police also use in radar guns. Okay or the technology that they use at actual baseball stadiums to actually track the speed of the baseball. Meaning it's pretty accurate, unless you don't think police radars are accurate, which I wouldn't argue completely with you, but that's because of the way they're used, not because the technology itself is inaccurate. Because like for baseball it is accurate, but that's because the radar gun's stationary and the ball's only coming straight at it. Exactly. Long story, we could go off on a tangent there forever. But we're not, because we're talking about Kickstarter, and Kickstarter's happy. And you should go check this out. They're about halfway back. They got 28 more days. And uh, if you're into sports or throwing balls or just pointing your phone at random stuff to see how fast it's moving, you should check this out. It's not um, that expensive either. Yeah, it's like $150, $160, I think, like that, to back it right now for the early bird. And then once that's sold out, I think the next package is like $200 oh, yeah. maybe. So, so they, had, they did have 120 They had 130 but that's yeah. all sold out already. All sold out. That's crazy. I mean, you can back it for like $25 and get a t-shirt, but you don't get the device. Which I don't, those Kickstarters are always weird. I mean, like, I like what you're doing. I guess if you like what they're doing, but don't have the money to buy it, maybe. I don't know why you wouldn't just be like, hey, I like it. Once it goes to production, let me know. Maybe I'll buy mm -hmm. one then. I guess you're kind of doing that. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like if you do that, you should get like a discount once production starts. But I don't do Kickstarter because I don't have any good ideas to put on there. You think we could put the podcast on Kickstarter? We kind of already started. Yeah. We Let's start a new podcast and kickstart that one. And say like if we get X amount of dollars, we'll like live stream on YouTube and get all the right gear and stuff to do it. And then we could also use it for this one. Yes. We could, yeah, we do good stuff. Like yeah, that. we could do some. I I keep looking at YouTube live stream like every week, but I'm just like I just don't want to do it with the gear we have right now. That's kind of picky of me, but it's because like if I'm gonna do it on YouTube, I want to like have all the lower thirds so I can fire them off in real time and do all the editing. That way, it's it's ready to go. Um, you know, Periscope and Meerkat, it's really cool, but it's like really raw and personal, you know. Yeah. And like on YouTube, I want it to be a little bit more professional Structured, looking, yeah. you know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. But anyways, Kickstarter. You should go check out Kickstarter. And you should also check out the Weekly Flare. I was going to get a segue and I was going to chuck this across the room and ask you how fast that was, but I didn't feel like doing that. So. Yeah, I don't think Zero Suit Samus would appreciate <laughs> that very much. Good news is at least we can find them if it breaks. Exactly. So we can find more of them. I took a picture when I was at Walmart and I forgot to post it because my phone issue. And um, there was a few more left. I was surprised. Same thing when we found Dr. Mario, there's another Dr. Mario at the store. So they're slowly either becoming more available or less people are rushing out to buy them right away. You can, you can probably buy, you could have bought that extra one, uh, charge an extra five bucks for it. Like I said, I don't know, because there are so many of them now. I don't know if like the, the rush to get them has died down or if Nintendo's just finally picked production up enough to keep up with them. I'm not sure which it is. My guess is a little bit of both. Um, so that's good news. So Chris, um, before we go, what do you what do you got to plug this week? This right? week? Yeah, what do you got going on? 
Nothing? I gotta take a test tomorrow. Um, Fine. Just work this weekend, relax, play on Sunday because I'm off Sunday. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Church and all that kind of stuff, so I won't be rushed out or anything like that. So I can just Good. slowly, Good. you know, do what I need to do. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't have a whole lot going on this weekend either, actually. I'm just kind of getting ready for uh, Rock Band to come out in a couple weeks. We're less than two weeks away now. It was two weeks yesterday. Ah. So, uh, I'm excited for that to come out, and that's that's kind of all I have going on right now. Speaking of music, how was uh, Night Ranger? Oh man, Night Ranger's so good. They're always so good when we see them. Good. They uh, covered some Alice Cooper, because one of their guys played with Alice Cooper for a while. They covered some Ozzy Osbourne because their other guitar player played with Ozzy. And uh, it was really cool. They, they covered some Damn Yankees songs because the lead guy used to play with Damn Yankees. So it was, it was a really good show. They, they, they played for about an hour and a half and it was, it was just like, oh, it was really good. They're, they're, really, they're really good on the stage. They're very good. I was upset. That's pretty good. It was solid. Yeah, how it was a good time. How many people were there? Uh, you know the amphitheater at the Coliseum? Yes. It was all the seating was full and there's wow. people on the lawn so a lot of people came out for i mean it was six dollars because it was just the price of the fair so it was at the charlotte fair no 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 it was at the central carolina at the central coliseum carolina. okay yeah yeah gotcha. so it's just six dollars because it's the price of the, i mean have you been to the central carolina fair I it's not, not very big no nah, honestly uh, i wouldn't go unless there was a concert you wanted to go see gotcha. there or something because dixie just, classic better yeah oh yeah dixie classic in my opinion is the fair to go to in the state uh the nc state fair is bigger but so crowded and there's like nowhere to park just go to the dixie class dixie class just I'm, do that dixie what, what is that going to be in it's not this coming weekend but the following weekend and then the weekend after that i might consider going uh yeah we're, we're going i'll let you know okay i think uh we got we got some plans i'll let you know awesome um anyway so that's all we got going on anyways if you want to keep up with our crazy lives this is about how they normally are you can follow me on twitter at james walter chris I met I met Never Lose Heart. I actually need to see if I can get that fight with Heart on. I know I keep like saying yours for you, but I should really just let yeah. you. Yeah, I mean, it's, I should it's let you easy. introduce yourself and not introduce yourself, but how introduce yourself? Yeah, is that a word? That's a thing, right? That's a thing. It's a thing. It's a thing now. Um. Anyways, if you want to keep up with the Weekly Flare, just go to theweeklyflare.com. All the links are there for the Instagram, for Facebook, for Twitter. It's all at the Weekly Flare. YouTube's there, but it's at the Weekly Flare Podcast, which, funny story, I forgot that when I posted the link, I, like, clicked it, because I always click on links before I post them to make sure that they go to the right place, and I was like, can't be found, and I was like, ah, oh, silly me, gotta put podcast on the end of it. Anyways, that's fun on YouTube. This is the Weekly Flare. We're out of here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys again in seven days. Peace.